Preface Reasons Not to Listen to This Audiobook This first part of the preface is short and easy to write. You should not listen to this audiobook if you believe aliens, extraterrestrials, and unidentified flying objects are one and all a huge pile of fantasies. You might think the notion there are visitors to Earth from outer space is nothing more than a collection of fact-free theories offered up by people with far too much unproductive time on their hands, who choose to fill it with meaningless gibberish. If any part of the foregoing rings true, this audiobook could waste your time. Atlas Shrugged by Anne Rand. Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. Breakfast at Tiffany's by Truman Capote. And almost anything by authors John Updike and Ernest Hemingway offer excellent returns on your reading time, an investment you likely often make if you've come this far. If this trigger warning, a recent college student fad, saves you time and expense, you're welcome. I'm happy to do my part. Consider it a valuable detour along Literature Boulevard. Reasons to listen to this audiobook. If, on the other hand, you'd like to know more, the general absence of popularly accepted evidence regarding extraterrestrials, or ETs, suggests there are none. Cold logic, however, says the absence of information neither confirms nor denies anything. Some evidence is simply a suggestion. The now-missing car, parked outside last night, suggests it was taken. Was it parked elsewhere but forgotten? Film at six. Chatter about ETs among humans is frequent. UFO sightings are well documented and often photographed. They are that missing vehicle about which little is known regarding ETs, beyond vague, unconfirmed witness statements and fuzzy photographs or videos. As this book is completed, Earth enters a crucial phase for the development of the current civilizations. Life will be fundamentally transformed in ways most of us would deem unimaginable at the moment. There will be little imagination required as each phase unfolds, but for the majority of mankind, each step will have to occur to be believed. A crucial, integral part of the changes will be the revelation that extraterrestrial visitors both exist and visit Earth regularly. As the information becomes unmistakable, it will be easy to react along with the masses as the search for knowledge erupts and confusion likely rises also. Fear will be part of the mix, and if allowed to overwhelm too many observers, will risk undermining the purpose ET visitors have for contact with humans and for revelation of their presence. If you would like advanced knowledge, you now have your reason to listen to this audiobook.